Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to share with you guys again another product uh, that I wanted to just kind of do a demonstration on. And this is going to be a shorter video because I already reviewed this product before, but this is a back posture brace. And I've been kind of checking this out uh, or wearing this a few times around uh, the house for the last couple days. A few times uh, when I've been working on my computer, uh, I haven't really filmed it while or, or worn this while filming a video. So I was going back and forth with the company a little bit and they wanted me to do a video just showing you guys um, how this thing works, how it actually sits across your body and to give you guys an idea of what it actually does. Now this is a back brace or a back posture brace. And what it does, it allows you to sit or work out or whatever you may be doing and to help you improve your posture. Now, it's not something that you wear and then suddenly you just suddenly have better posture. Um, now, I have pretty good posture. Generally, when I walk, I walk tall. I walk my back straight. Uh, my shoulders roll back. It's just kind of more of my personality. And you have to kind of get used to uh, walking or sitting with proper posture. Now, I'm not saying there aren't times where I slouch. Sometimes, even when I'm making a video, I don't always put my chest out and pop my, just kind of human nature, that when we're relaxed, we tend to relax our body more. But it's very important that if we have a job uh, where we are sitting a lot, especially if we're sitting a lot, that you try to make an effort to have better posture. It's gonna help your back. It's gonna help with any kind of pain or tightness that you may have. And I encourage you guys to, if you, if you do have a problem sitting, uh, for long periods of time and are uncomfortable that you try something like this uh, So what I want to do is to show you guys how it works and show you guys the device with me actually wearing it now I am on the larger size or the maximum size for this device They do recommend somebody having a, a chest or a bust between 32 and 42 inches I have roughly a 44 inch chest uh, or a 44 inch chest across my you know chest and back and of course uh, I weigh about 180 one to three pounds. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm at as of this morning. I did eat breakfast uh, a couple hours ago. And so a couple coffee. So we'll see where I'm at. Now, I will say that the original video, I didn't film uh, me wearing this because I did have a little bit of a hard time getting it on. And I do think that it's a kind of device that um, it, it is helpful to have somebody assist you, especially if you're at the upper portion or the upper end of the spectrum when it comes to the size requirements of this device. Now, the company did when they before they said to say, what is your weight? Um, now, generally, they say it's for a person up to 150 pounds. I'm obviously 182, 181, 180, and I'm able to get into this. It is a little bit harder for me because I am on the larger size for my upper body force device, but... I'm tr telling you, you can still wear it. Now, it would, like again, it, like I said before, it would be helpful to have somebody assist me, but I'm going to attempt to put it on, and I didn't do it originally because it is a little bit difficult for me to put on by myself. But let's go ahead and give it a gander here, and we'll just kind of run with it because the company did want me to show, um, you know, what it looks like on to get an idea of how it works. So um, it is a little bit difficult. I did have to uh, refer to it. I want to be honest with you guys. I had to refer to the pictures. When I got it out of the bag of the box, I actually just pulled it right apart. It does come um, properly laced through the openings here or the loops. So I'm going to attempt to put this on. So I'm going to open it up a little bit to make it a little bit helpful on me getting this thing on. So it, it basically... it. Obviously, it's not rocket science. It goes on pretty much like a backpack, but because of its location being so high in the back, it does take a little bit of practice. And I'm going to make an attempt to put this thing on here. So I'll loop it right through my shoulders here, and hopefully I can get my arm through. And I didn't want to do this originally because I do have some shoulder problems, and they always hurt, and it was a little bit difficult for me to get the thing on. So let me see if I can get this part around me here. And because there's so many Velcros on it, it's a little bit difficult to do by yourself. And this is kind of lies, here lies a little bit of the issue here. Is because of the Velcros, I can't actually reach. So I'm going to have to take it off again. So it, again, this is kind of a learning experience here. When you put this thing on, you're really going to want to make sure. I would have somebody help you do it personally, but... Uh, let me try to do that again here. So this actually came out of the loop. And what happens is, because it's so sticky with the Velcro, that opening it up really large sometimes has the Velcro sticking to itself. So let me try that again. I'm going to try to open up as far as I can where I can still reach it, hopefully reach it. All right, so here we go. We have it looped through the back. 
And let's try this again here. So I'm gonna loop this right over my shoulders, like so. Let me back up, like so. It'd be helpful if you can see me, right? But I'm trying to get it on where you guys can actually see what this thing looks like. All right, looks like I got it there. So we have this extension piece they give you here, which comes off. This is a separate Velcro. So I left it on because you're gonna need it to put it on anyway. So what you do is you basically loop this right across your chest and you can see I'm on the larger size here of this device, but I can still get into it. And you fasten it tightly across your uh, your chest. And then what you do is you pull the upper straps. You bring it up a little bit here right across my chest. You bring the upper ones like you would expect on a backpack right down and attach it. And so it's meant to sit, again, depending on your size, it's meant to sit uh, technically underneath your... Uh, your pecs, uh, as far as what they show in the pictures. But for me, because I'm a little bit larger, um, this is actually sitting above my chest. You could adjust it down a little bit, like so, and bring it to the max there of where the shoulder straps can actually still attach to the device itself. And you're just gonna wanna kind of position this where it feels the best. And so obviously, I got the thing on. You could see, you could still get it on even at my size with a 44 inch chest. Um, my weight, the reason I still decide to review the product from the company because my weight mainly is from years of drinking beer. Uh, and so naturally, and you know, I've been pretty stagnant for a little while. So my weight, generally I weigh about 160 to 165 pounds when my diet's in check I'm working out because I gave up uh, drinking beer, of course. I have been losing weight, but most of my weight is always around my midsection. So you can obviously see that this device for a guy my size carrying uh, my weight, my weight's mainly around the midsection, of course, mainly this device, or pretty much 100% uh, of this device, is worn on your upper back. So again, depending on uh, you know how large of a person you are, how, how much muscle you carry, the size of your frame, of course, um, and you know fat content does you know take it to, you have to take that into consideration too. If you're a guy who's larger all over, um, you know they, again they recommend up to 150 pounds. But you can obviously see for my size. Uh, 44 inch chest, about five foot seven, seven and a half, and uh, a 44 inch chest all the way around 185, 182, 18. Again, I don't know what I am exactly today. 180 something, one, 180 to 185. Uh, this still fits. And what you have here is basically what this is doing. It's putting tension on my shoulders, and it's actually pulling my shoulders back. And depending on how tight you wear it, it may pull your shoulders back more. But you can see without actually pulling my shoulders back, it's holding them back. And so if you're at your desk, you're working, it's gonna keep your shoulders uh, kind of, again, back. And you can see if I was typing or whatnot, the posture doesn't change. It's very comfortable in, in the way that it holds your body. It doesn't feel like you're, um, like I'm not in any kind of pain whatsoever. I'm not in any kind of discomfort. Obviously, you do feel like you're wearing something. And if you were wearing this um, you know, at an office job or whatnot, and you were sitting at your desk, in my opinion, if I was sitting at a desk for about eight hours working, unless I was really experiencing some real discomfort, this would start to become a little bit of an annoyance to me um, because that's a long period to sit with something like this attached. But if you are the kind of person who does experience a lot of pain sitting uh, and you're not ever, you, know, you have a hard time sitting upright, this will definitely keep you upright, keep those shoulders back and create, um, you know, a, a good posture for you. So uh, that's about it, guys. Hopefully, uh, you know, that was pretty nonchalant video. Um, the company did want me to review this again and show you guys what it looks like on. You can see from the back straps what it looks like from the back, uh, high on the back, right across the, I'd say, kind of your shoulder blade area. And uh, again, you just kind of wear it like a backpack. So that's really about it, guys. Uh, once again, I want to thank the company. This one comes from a company called, um, oh man, what happened to the name? They had the name on here. Yeah, that's weird. So normally on Amazon, you have, uh, the company's name for whatever reason, I'm just not seeing it. Um, it doesn't actually show the link for, oh, there it is. Looks like Amazon moved that, uh, that was off to the side there. So the company on this here, it says by Cheng. I can't even, I can't even pronounce that. It's C-H-E-N-G-J-I-U-M-A-O-Y-I. -I. Uh, a lot of these sellers have several different seller accounts. Um, again, 
Easy peasy. The link is in the description. You can click that. It'll take you right to their uh, their Amazon listing. Uh, this one here has 27 ratings, 21 answered questions. So if you do have any kind of questions regarding this, uh, you can definitely uh, consult um, consult the listing. There is a little. Sorry, I'm just trying to do two things at once here. There's a little bit more information on here uh, as far as the sizing. Um, I would take all that with it because the sizing is a little bit. A little bit confusing when you and that's why it's good that I actually posted another video. Uh, sizing is a little bit confusing. It says here on one of the videos, keep the armpit burn away 32 to 42 inches. And then it says size 45 inches. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, again, I would say based on my size, we are kind of at the max of what this will allow. You can see where I have the Velcro. It's pretty much maxed out. Um, I would definitely recommend uh, no larger than a 44 inch chest size or bust size and no more than I would say my weight of about 185 pounds. Um, and again, keep the weight, uh, we take that with a grain of salt because ultimately it comes down to where you carry your weight. Most of my weight really is right, I mean, it's, it's beer belly area. So that's where I've always kept my weight. Um, everything else is, you know, I mean, that's, it's, it's, what you'd expect from a guy with my body, I don't know what my body fat percentage is, but uh, for instance, if I'm down to one, if I drop down to 165, that just comes right, I mean, you naturally get a little bit from everywhere, but most of that comes right from my midsection. So just keep that, keep take that with a grain of salt. If you do click the link, a uh, nice thing about buying through Amazon, if you have a problem, um, you can return it. And today, uh, looks, I don't know how long this coupon will last, but today you save an extra $3 when you apply their coupon. So make sure if you go to their website and you do want to make a purchase, uh, right where it says price, there's a coupon underneath, that'll be added to the shopping cart. You'll get this for about $27 um, with free shipping with Prime. So check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to help. Uh, once again, I want to thank the company I can't pronounce for the generosity and sending me this. I'll be working with them again. Stay tuned for another great product, something I can definitely use more often uh, than something like this. It's going to be a power bank, great price, super high battery capacity, and a digital display. Stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day and take care.